And this recipe is really fairly simple, not a lot of ingredients. The first thing you want to do, get your oven going, preheat that to 350, and then you start going to work on the ingredients. And the key to baking, from what I've always been told since I was a little kid, get your measurements exact. Two cups of flour, teaspoon and a half of baking powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt. Combine all those ingredients in one bowl, and then in a separate bowl, you start to go to work on the wet ingredients. Those are going to include one cup of butter, which if you're using sticks, are two sticks of butter. Add to that, and I know this isn't wet, but you're going to add to the butter granulated sugar, so just you know, regular sugar, to the one cup of butter. And make sure your butter is softened. I didn't do that. That's the one thing I messed up on. The butter was a little bit hard, but I got it to where it needed to be. You blend the two get that nice and creamy and then you start to add eggs it's a total of four eggs in this recipe you add them one at a time one in the bowl blend another in the bowl blend get it going until it is a very creamy consistency teaspoon of vanilla and then you zest an entire lemon add the zest in and this becomes your batter mix this really well then the two get combined together you add the dry to the wet now you start to mix by hand and it does become very thick that was the one thing that threw me Take your berries, two cups of blueberries, coat those with about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of flour, and this is gonna help those work into this batter. And with this extra flour, this batter becomes, it's like paste, but it's how it's supposed to be, trust me. Get your nonstick cooking spray. I went with one that tasted like butter because there's so much butter in the recipe, so why not add to that? Add, add your mix, keep it nice and level, even it out as best you can, and then it goes in the oven. Again, it's 350 for an hour and 10 minutes. Mine took maybe an hour and 15. It went a little bit long. You know, test it with a toothpick to make sure it's good when you bring it out. And then for the glaze, it's the juice from one lemon and a cup of powdered sugar. Whisk that together and then go to town. Drizzle as much as you want on it and then flat out enjoy this thing.